God damn. I remember the first time I met you, met you was at uh, Supernova. That during the pandemic. Supernova, it's a comedy club. I do it remember is. that. It was an outside. Uh, that place is great. It was awesome. But um, you, you got know? drugged. I got drugged. No, I just, I'm like. <laughs> You got drugged. That's drink drunk. number seven. We what can't finish the saying? podcast until you're on drink number nine. Okay. Um, you had an oh, AI this, robot. What are you is, talking I about? Just, I just want to. I just want to <laughs> literally ask you. Uh, I don't know why I'm giving you so much fucking build up. So you have you have a ton of I know, success. This better be it's, 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 not, it's, it's terrible. So um, what, how, how you big is your comedy? vagina? No. So um, you have a ton of success and a ton of money. So what what pushes you to keep going? I just feel like in my head, I'm like, if I'm worth, I mean, I'm guessing nah, here, if I'm worth fucking twenty mil, what am I doing? She laughed at that. <laughs> she got that. What is it? Two bro girls. Why is EP everyone on? so obsessed with like everyone thinks that I am like have like cartoon Elon Musk money? I've talked to Tim. He's told me. And it's also <laughs> such a testament to how little you guys know about the television business. <laughs> yeah, but you you were like an EP on some big shows. Yes. That's where yeah, I created to I think in. I think she's laughing at the little that I said. No, it's yeah. just funny. I've seen your Instagram stories. You have like custom painted like marble stone <laughs> barns. No, I just it's probably good. Did I a little can't, boy bring you chocolates every night. It's just so weird. Like I never hear Guys, or anyone asking guys about like so how much money do you have? Like, oh, what do you mean? We ask all the time. Oh, do you? Oh, See, I, I love know. that. That's oh. my favorite. I think it's, my, it's a little yeah. weird. It's a little weird that Mike it's would not, ask that. It's just like I, I think for me, no. when I go on other people's podcasts, I'm like, I know that they didn't necessarily sign up for this, and the chances of them liking me, like, uh, it's probably 50 50. And then me like <laughs> talking about like, you have money. It's like, can you help these people not hate me so much? Right. Um, but here's the thing I do have family that, um, uh, had strokes without health insurance, had to put a couple people through yeah. rehabs, bunch of new sets of teeth, just had to get a couple sets of knees, two knees. So 25 no. mil. Two <laughs> <laughs> so what are we getting at here? Where you're paying me, the, the, you're like, yeah, I did charity work, I donated a liver. So it's, I, I own four islands. I got an aunt, a brand new set of knees. Uh, you she got new knees? She needs oh, my aunt. aunt. Your aunt. My aunt needed new knees, and then she also needed a new car, so then I got her the new car, but she got stuck in the new car. Would you get her a knee song? All right, I gotta go, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go. Keep taking those sponsorships. Trust me. Say I gotta go after your I gotta go, I gotta go. It's just eking off the stage Oh, I'm gonna be doing ads for Pokemon Go next year, all right? That's bags, I don't care what you say. Yeah, not anymore. Oh my God, And then she gets stuck in the car and then the knees jammed up because she had to stay in it overnight and then oh, get new knees. No. So I, I at one point had two sets of knees for the same person money. Um, but it, I didn't even know you could buy a <laughs> new I didn't know you knee. could buy one knee. Yeah. What do you Venmo that person? It's uh, it's it's a Western Union situation. Wow. Yeah. Even Venmo's like, you're going to have to go in person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Neither wow. do I. I just, <laughs> that is so, crazy. Okay. So, so, it, it so not, I, I didn't, if you, whatever, I don't yeah. mean to, I didn't mean to do that. So I apologize. I spend a lot of money. No, I'm, t I'm just giving you okay. shit. But uh, <clears throat> what keeps me going is that it's such an amazing question. I love that because, um, I obsess over that question about oh, Ben Stiller, like all the time. Yeah. Like a lot. You just get bored. You live such a just stimulated lifestyle. You're doing spots, you're doing shows, you're doing movies, TV, and then you just stop? Yeah, but well, I I'm see not, what you're I'm saying. I'm saying stop. I'm There's saying, a like, lot of things that 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 money has solved, and it's not money per se. But, yeah. but I built myself like my ideal house, yeah. and I got um, rescued a bunch of horses, and it. I literally am like, when someone will offer me something where I'm like, I guess I'll go do that thing for like the... our podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is my nightmare, but, um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I'll go like, you know what? I'm just going to stay. I just want to stay here. Like I, I yeah. will say no to things because I prefer to be in the like space that I built. And like, um, you know, now what, now that I also have the means, like there's no excuse for me to treat myself like shit anymore, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like, I take care of myself and I like, Fill yeah. my days with stuff that's going to make me a better comedian because I also oh, am like, great. okay, I have these resources and like it's my job to be as interesting as possible. Great. I need to book a trip to Africa. I need to book yeah. a trip to Asia. Wow. Like I need to go live. I need to use what's been given to me by the fans to become more interesting. No, your perspective on life is so very, I, I love it. Thanks. Because yeah. you talk to some comics and it's just, it's so far opposite of that. It's just complaining and they're hating this or that or whatever. Uh, this guy. No, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's very negative or something. But I feel like you just, you you know exactly who you are and what you want to be in that realm. And it's really cool to just, it's just like powerful. Yeah. I'm cool. going to go take some Adderall after this no, and go yell at my vision board. 
I'm gonna put you back on my vision board. I took Whoa, you off for a little off. bit. Whoa. <laughs> you know, you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think, I think what I was getting at that question, it's a beautiful answer. I just like when you were talking about maybe ten minutes ago is what kind of sparked this question. I want that question is like you were like, oh, the Netflix, I gotta write the thing and da da da. Like you, you focusing on stand up and getting up at three times a night and folk like that makes so much sense to me. And you having fun on the podcast and and having uh, interesting guests that makes sense to me. But like you having like deadlines with fucking Netflix pilots, like that type of stuff. I'm like, if I, if I had, if I mean, whatever, if I was you, I'd be like, I'm good. Yeah. I want to do, and may, maybe, maybe I'm just putting my perspective on you where like that whole like Netflix pilot got it. Like that doesn't bring me joy. And maybe it brings you a ton of joy. And I'm just like kind of putting me on I you. I think it's more that, I think it's more like, and I don't know how this will land, uh, but I think it's more you guys like, being given the opportunity to enter this next phase of your careers in podcasting live er with a f set of, I cannot use other people's experience as data for what I'm going er, to base my decisions on. Okay. So what all of us went through doesn't apply to you. Like nothing, like, you know, good news, bad news. It's totally uncharted. Ter like right now, all the rules. Got it. When I created a show that went, you know, six seasons and two broke girls and a syndicated. And then so I did a sitcom. Mil. And so I did. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. So I did. Oh, you uh, did fucking Roseanne, didn't you? I did. I ran the Roseanne That's reboot. That's what I'm saying, dog. You're oh, asking about her net worth, dog. 20 mil. She had a horse and buggy out front, dog. 20 mil. <laughs> Yeah, what do you say? What you, am I doing? Coming in low. She <laughs> laughed when you said that. Play the replay. La it was, it was, that's the richest thing I ever said. You said 20 minutes. <sighs> 20 is what I spend a day on drinks, homie. We see it. <laughs> how, how do I have I'm to pee? And I've had one water bottle I'm and you've had a dying. gallon. You've had a big gulps worth of I liquid. I think there's something, I like, pee. honestly, well. I normally am, like, or I used to be really self-conscious and embarrassed about uh, conversations like this, but now I'm for it. I want to be like, yeah. The white Cardi B. I'm like, yeah, I have money. I worked my ass off, and I no deserve rappers yeah, but you, flex. Because I have yeah. no, no imposter or, or syndrome. No, no comedians. No comedians flex. I have zero imposter syndrome. Because you I, have to work through that. I worked my I ass off. Loaded with that. I will like. I work so fucking okay. hard that I never show up anywhere and be like, I don't deserve this. I'm like, I yeah. deserve twice as much as this. Damn. Yeah, that's so what, great. What I flip? get ha like. I mean, I don't know if it's just a female thing or whatever. It's like. I, I truly believe I get half as much as I deserve, and that's fine, which yeah. is part of the reason I'm like work so hard. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, but uh, before we wrap things up, I mean, the robot you had. Yeah. I just, oh, I, do you still have the robot? Mm -hmm. She's in my podcast studio. Oh shit! Does I'll she be a, there in like two a, weeks. Does she have a body? She, uh, her body got sawed in half in what? the Foo Fighters movie I was in. So the Foo Fighters. That is a crazy sentence I, to say. It, I mean, dude, that is I, every time I say it, it's tickles me did you pick out the body and everything or is it like molded after you or the whole thing so down at the at real botics where they built the head custom like molded it to my face <laughs> yeah. so weird cast it onto my face like i had to like like bite into yeah. like clay so you do my teeth it's and insanely realistic it's insanely realistic and i when i look at it i don't think it looks like me right. but you know we all apparently are so dysmorphic that like if you saw yourself out in the wild you wouldn't, you, recognize you wouldn't even recognize yourself so yeah, yeah. Whoa, I'd be like, it's a hot whoa. ass dude and then i keep walking <laughs> Fuck that guy. Yeah, but he has no ass and a big nose, but something about him. Something about him. Something tells me he has a really, really charismatic yeah, this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Big nose, you know, is um like statistically uh what makes guys attractive. There was just really? a study, yeah. That um ha -ha. A no. You know that we know how you know who wrote that study? <laughs> a guy with a big fucking nose. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> no, dude, I, I got I got right up here. Yeah, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm, i I want to get a nose surgery, but that's that's when I'm off no. and just just too a rich big, to big, understand like a society. I wouldn't say your nose is big. I would say it's prominent. That's big. interesting. You're okay. like, oh, this girl's not fat. She's prominent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There was a way to like word that. Where now I'm like, oh, okay, okay, this is a good nose right here. 